Hello, this is Victor, and this time I will explain how I paint a ghoul, as I will do a ghoul unit for my Vampire Cones army. In that tutorial, I will show the steps I follow to arrive to this end result on painting the ghoul. You have to keep in mind that I want to paint a full unit following the same process, so it should be a, a process that is easy to reproduce in other miniatures and it's con not consuming lots of time because my objective is to paint a unit maybe of about around 20 or 40 rules. Here I will present the steps I follow for the champion of the unit. I will use black prime and on the basis I will apply a gvelan hair. As in many of my miniatures, I like to start from the base and going up. And after, I did a wash with Aglax Air Shade on the base. As you can see in that picture, I add a shield from the Empire on the base, as he is stepping on top of a shield from an Empire Warrior. I also add a bone that is coming with the sprue of the ghouls on the base. There are several of these bones on the spruce and I glued them in on different bases of the ghouls. I decided to make the shield on, on red and for that I use a scab red. And then I use Yander Darsan to paint the eagle on the shield. For the skin I want to go for a pale Gray, and this time I will use Fortress Gray. The shield is washed using Agrax Air Shade again, and I profit to wash again the full base. I use Camry Brown to paint the tabard of the ghoul, and I decide to use Bracker Flays to do the rope that is holding the skeleton at the back of the goal. And then I use Usbachi bone for all the bones that are on the miniature and on the base. And again I did another wash with Agat air shade. As you can see in this picture I decide to paint the arm separate from the miniature to be to reach easily some of the the face and the chest of of this miniature. Here you have another picture after applying Agrax Air Shade all over the miniature. And I apply it again on the base. Closer picture after applying Agrax Air Shade. Then I use again Yander Dark Sun to clean a little bit the washers on the eagle, on the shield. I also clean the washers of, on the red areas using a scab red. And I paint with iron breaker the different cracks on the shield and some and I did some weathering. Here I also paint iron breaking in one of the corners on top of the sheet of the shield like the like to simulate that the paint is being cheap from the shield and i use fortress gray to clean the wash all over the skin so what i did is i apply again fortress gray leaving the deeper areas with the brownish brownie wash here you have another picture after applying fortress gray and cleaning the wash that i did all over the miniature on the metal parts, I decide to go for some weathering and make the metal rust. For that, to do that, I apply the technical paint diffuse corrosion. You have I apply it only on the parts that I paint previously as metallic, where the paint it's been cheap from the shield. I also clean the wash on the bones, applying again, again Ushbati bone on all the bone parts, leaving 
the crevices and the deeper areas darker. This picture is a little bit out of focus, but I is, is to show the same as before that I apply the spatty bone on the bone areas to clean a little bit the wash. And I apply also Riza Rust to do the oxidation or, or rust on the metallic parts where the paint of the shield have been chipped. With Camry Brown, I paint the higher at the back of the wool and I also clean and make the highlights on the top art. I paint with Iron Breaker the hood just hanging from the neck of the ghoul. And I use Usbati bone to the teeth. In that case you have to be very patient. Normally I leave the mouth very dark and then one by one I'm, I paint every teeth. I apply another wash of Aglax L shade on the higher at the back of the ghoul. This has been a mistake that I did painting this miniature. If I have to repeat, I will, per I will paint the higher with the Cambry Brown and then before doing the wash all over the miniature and then I will do the wash all over the miniature and start cleaning up all the washes. And I want to use a reddish touch all on the scars that the ghoul have all over the skin. For that purpose, I did a wash of Carroburg Crimson on the different scars that the ghoul have on the skin. Here you have a picture from another angle, but you can see where I applied the reddish wash. I also apply this on the small pustules on this arm. And then I decide to do the blood that is drip, dipping from the mouth of the ghoul. To do that, first I paint the droplets using Uzbati bone. And then I paint this area with blood for the blood god, the technical paint from Citadel. I also use this in the teeth, but in order to keep the white the white part of the teeth and just give some reddish I dilute the, the technical paint like being a wash so in the point that is almost transparent and then you can still see the the blood in between the teeth and the teeth remain white here you have another picture after applying blood for the blood cut. So what I recommend, in case you want to make a transparent layer or semi-transparent layer of blood, you can dilute this a little bit more and then will look like, in that case, saliva mixed with blood. The point I remember that I forgot to do the hook hanging from the neck. So I have, and I want to give also a very brass metal on that area. So I apply typhus corrosion on the hook. As you can see, I didn't apply the diffuse corrosion on the full hook. I only apply in some regions because I want to give some regions rusted and some regions keeping the metallic appearance. While the corrosion diffuse on the hook is drying up, I apply, I did the highlights on the higher that at the back. And to do that, I did a mixture 50-50 of Camry Brown with Rakar Flesh. Here I want to show that I also paint the bone on, that is hanging on the other arm before gluing and I follow the same technique as the rest of the bones. So first I apply Uzbati bone, then I did a wash with Aglax air shade and then I highlight with Uzbati bone again, leaving some dark areas to give the appearance of a very old bone. And then I did the second highlight on the skin and I use palette flesh mixed with Fortis Grey. The mixture will depend on the area and the contours that I want to get. Arriving in some points to use only palette flesh. Here a picture from the other angle after applying palette flesh and Fortis Grey. 
As you can see in the picture, I glued the other arm on the miniature to do this last step. In that picture, what I want to show is that I apply razor rust on the hook that is hanging from the neck. This is a picture of the ghoul from the other angle. You can see that the hook now, now looks rust. When I was applying Uzbaki bone and on the rib cage of the skeleton at the back of, of the ghoul, in some cases, by mistake, I paint also in between the ribs. So at the end, I apply a little bit of Reynolds height to, be uh, to have a very good limit between the two ribs and have very well marked the dark parts between the ribs. Here also a picture from the other side after applying Reynolds height. To make the scars a little bit more reddish, I decided at the end to apply a little bit of corn red on the scars and pustules. I applied it very diluted. You can see now that the pustules and the scars are maybe a little bit more visible. I want them to contrast with the greyish or the grey colour of the skin. And this is the end result on the ghoul. Just to mention here that I apply black on the nails and then I did a very soft highlight with ashing grey as I want to keep them very black. There is a picture from the back where you can see the work on the skeleton. When I'm painting troops for Warhammer Fantasy, I try to look for efficient way to paint them. So just some way to paint them quite fast. Most likely, as this is the champion of the of the unit, I did a second highlight. But on the other ghouls, I will not do the highlight maxing Fortress Grey and Pallet Flesh. And that's all for that video. Please subscribe, comment, and like if you like it. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye!